Everyone that goes fishing knows that some days are better than others, while some could be considered far worse than that. We recently had a pair of fishing trips that could fall into the category of good day, bad day, but as everyone knows, there aren't any bad days out on the water. Day one of fishing consists of me and my buddy Russell Harrison departing the boat ramp at Summers Cove Marina in Crisfield under what was forecasted to be five knot winds. However, it certainly doesn't feel like five and the flags at the depot report their own forecast. But the boat is launched and we're on the way out, so there's no turning back now. It's not supposed to rain, so as long as that part holds true, we will have to make do. A couple of casts in and Russell already has a hit. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. But it's not long before Russell does hook one, and unfortunately, we just realized we forgot the net. Holy cow! Nice rock. I know dude. it. Where's the Don't have it. <laughs> now that's a fish. What? <laughs> a 27 inch rockfish on light tackle without a net. A nice fish indeed. Unfortunately, I cannot film the catch at the same time I'm reeling in the fish. But it looks like another keeper in the boat just minutes later. 23. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I didn't have the camera rolling, but uh, I just landed one. Comes in at 23 inches there. And my buddy Russell taking it off the hook. Mine. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but we got two on the boat, so so far we're off to a good. We're off to a pretty good start. Soon after, Russell tries to even the score, but he doesn't think this one's gonna make it. No need to measure, back in the water she goes. We must have found a school because before we know it, I've got what looks to be another keeper in the boat with the fish only scarcely hooked. Barely on there. <laughs> At 22 and a half inches, it's good enough for the box. And now Russell's got to land one before I get the boat's four fish limit. But before he can do that, I get this one in the boat and it looks like we are done with the rockfish for today. Well, there you go, a little over an hour. We've got our limit of rockfish. Russell might have the biggest fish of the day, but I got the most. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna go try for some specs. It means we don't got our limit on rock. We're only out here for an hour. However, we would have been better off to just call it a day. No specs were found, but we are definitely going home with our heads held high. The second day of fishing consists of me and my son Avery, and he knows what we're after. Um, speckled trout. Speckled trout? And rockfish. We're departing once again from Summers Cove Marina, and although seven-year-old Avery doesn't ask quite as many questions as four-year-old Avery. Why we can't go under the water? Why is Pop Pop pushing that button? Pop Pop, where are we going? He's still got a question or two to ask. Why are you looking at that? After only a cast or two, Avery has a fish, but not for long. He got off. It's all right. <laughs> Soon after, there's another. Don't rock there. Keep going. Oh, he spit the hook right there. That's all right. He wasn't big enough. We got him up here. We saw him. Nice job, dude. <laughs> Is that fun? How do you know he's not big enough? I can see him. Cast after cast, and Avery keeps at it. We haven't had any more bites, but he's yet to give up. We've been here far longer than the hour it took to limit out on the previous trip, and luckily Avery seems to understand that's just how the laws of fishing work sometimes. And sometimes, persistence pays off. Yep, it's a fish. A little rockfish. All right, stop reeling, stop reeling. What you got? A rockfish. Yeah, was that fun? Avery's able to get his first rockfish and a clean release, and he doesn't seem too concerned that we didn't get any keepers. He had fun just catching them. But it just goes to show how fishing can change from one day to the next. One day you get your limit in no time, another day it takes all day to come home with an empty cooler.